is Audio Tree Live. Today is Friday, November 18th, 2016, and we're excited to have Kaitana in the studio with us today. Whenever you ladies are ready, take it away. Kaitana. All right, ladies. Thank you so much for being here today. We're really excited to have you. Thanks for having us. Thanks for having us. Thanks. Yeah. You played at the Double Door last night. Is Chicago treating you well so far? Yeah. Yeah, It's great. We love Chicago. (laughs) Good. And I know you're playing again tonight, so that's awesome. The Double Door. So if you didn't see them last night, you should definitely go to the Double Door tonight. Um, You ladies have been in a band for a few years now, and we're pretty quick to be signed um, in the beginning, which is so awesome and kind of unheard of. And I know you've kind of operated like that, you know, since then, but you've got some cool news about your new record you're working on. Uh, You said you're going to release it independently this time? Yeah. Awesome. Um, Yeah, we're pretty excited about it. Um, Our first label was Tiny Engines. Um, Really great people, do a lot of really awesome stuff. And uh, we kind of decided to go in a different direction this time and start a new adventure on our own, which is really exciting. And they've been really supportive of it, and we're really excited about it. Yeah. Good. That's awesome. Yeah, good luck with your new adventure. I know there's some challenges to going independent like that, you know, but, I mean, I'm sure you've learned a lot being signed and stuff about how things work, and so now you can kind of take the reins. Yeah, I think it's, it's pretty empowering. It's definitely something we had always wanted to do. Yeah, that's really cool. What do you most look forward to, you know, doing all of this stuff independently? I know it'll be a little more work for you guys, but... Yeah, it's definitely going to be a lot of work. I think the whole process is kind of exciting, though. Just, yeah. like, seeing, like, the steps that we have to take instead of just handing our project to somebody else and being like, all right, give it back to us when it's done. It's kind of nice to go through all those steps, especially together as, like, a group and a unit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's nice to learn, like, <clears throat> like, the complete package of being a band, you know? Yeah, absolutely. It probably definitely strengthens your bond, I'm sure, you mm-hmm. know, because you do have to work a lot closer now, you know? Um, when do you expect your next record to come out? Do you have a set release date? Or are you still working? In May or in spring. Cool, cool. Yeah, Aprilish, May. That's awesome, you guys. Well, good luck on the creation of that and everything. And you know, I'm sure you're going to learn a lot from this experience. So definitely keep up to date on their work, you guys. Um, whenever you're ready, we'd love to hear another song.
is Audio Tree Live, and we are honored to have Kaitana in the studio with us today. They are from Philadelphia, um, so you guys came quite a long way to be here in Chicago. You said the music scene, so it's pretty tight in Philly, right? There's mm -hmm. and pretty sportive, you would say. Yeah, that's cool. Awesome. Everybody knows each other. <laughs> that's good. That's so good. Why? Uh, why did you choose Philly over? I mean, being on the East Coast over like a city like New York per se, where there's still a lot going on, obviously, but I think yeah. it's more affordable. <laughs> yeah. True. New York is really amazing. Um, for me personally, I liked visiting New York and then coming back home to Philadelphia because yeah. it's. I find New York to be beautiful, but a little overwhelming. Like for the number of people living there, I think personally, at least really cozy. It is. Co it's it's yeah. cozy. Yeah, it's like a. It's what some people describe as the sixth borough, whether they like that or not. It's some like a working say, class city too. Yeah. Forgive me, my voice is so bad. No, that's okay. <laughs> I know, I feel so, it feels so bad, so, no, as long as it doesn't hurt to talk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Philadelphia's great, though. It's been nothing but super awesome for us since we've all moved there. Cool. We all moved there separately, but um, kind of formed there together, and it's nurtured us for sure as a band and people, I think. Have you found any substantial, like, I don't know about that scene alone, but, like, since you've been a band for a while um, in the indie rock, like, punk scenes, have you found any substantial, like, um, or obvious challenges being an all-female band versus, you know, I'm sure you're surrounded by a lot of male punk bands as well? Hmm. I think in Philly, specifically, we've, we've been, been... Pretty lucky. Yeah, we've been pretty lucky. Good. I think there's a lot of really strong female musicians in Philadelphia. Um... And it's like very supportive group of people. Um, people like uh, Francis from Hop Along and Katie from Waxahachie, Allison, Allison from Swearin. And, and there's just like tons of really strong, amazing female bands like Amanda X and stuff like that. I think that we actually have been pretty lucky with the city and the scene that we're in right now because we kind of like have been totally lifted up by that as people who, you know, are an all female band for sure. Cool. That's good. That's really good because sometimes you hear the opposite, you know. So it sounds like you've got a solid home base. So you mm. should definitely, yeah, stick around for a while. And that's where you all met was in Philly? Or did you meet separately? Uh, well, Kelly and I went to college together. Um, and Kelly moved to Philly a few years after graduating. And then I ended up moving down <clears throat> separately like a couple years later because uh, a lot of our friends from school were there. Um, yeah. yeah. And then we all met. They just found me on the street. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we just, you know, I was taking out the trash, and then I found Augusta standing there, and I was like, growling at her. I was like, let us start a band. <laughs> I was like, this girl looks cool. You look like you'd be fun to be in a band with. Sure, why, <laughs> yeah, not? why not? Here's a guitar. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> hey, however you met, at least it's you met. Because yeah, seems like you've got a good thing going. So, um, we'd like to hear some more music if you want to get into your next song.
This is Audio Tree Live, and we're excited to have Kaitana here in the studio with us today. These ladies are on tour right now um, and came all the way from Philly. They played Double Door last night, but they're there again tonight. So if you missed it, you should definitely check it out, Chicagoans. And I know they are playing with the Bouncing Souls tonight. That's exciting. Um, is tonight sold out yet? Or can no. you good? I'm not, I'm not yeah, almost. almost sold out. Nice. I think we play at seven. Go. So we play super early. It's a real early show tonight. Yeah. For a Friday, which is kind of cool. That's true. Everybody can party super hard after the show. Or go. go to bed early. Or go to bed early. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you've got options. That's good. <laughs> Sometimes early shows are okay. Yeah, yeah, you get people in right after work and they're just like ready to party. Yeah. So cool. Happy hour ends, the show starts. It's great. There it is. So definitely check these ladies out if you're liking the music. We've got more. Um, whenever you're ready and tuned up, we'd like to hear another song. My pleasure. <laughs> Audio Tree Live, and we are here with Kaitana in the studio today. I think it's super impressive that despite the fact that you're losing your voice, you're still able to like project and I'm create this uh, beautiful sound while you sing. <laughs> really digging deep. <laughs> you, you got to, you know, and you got to save some for later too for the show. So. True. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, that. Oh yeah, that thing. Uh -oh. 
Um, I laughed out loud when I checked your Facebook page. You had recently posted, there's a video on your way down to Chicago. Oh my God. <laughs> yes, yes. No one liked that. We're going to talk about no, it. This is Why? Great. I thought it was hilarious. I almost cried laughing. <laughs> Well, if you didn't see it, so check the Kaitana Facebook page, and there is a video of Allegra, I believe, yeah. and she's in the front seat, and, uh, and they're just talking about going down to Chicago and looking forward to it, and all of a sudden it hops into slow mo. Was that a balloon? Yeah, was that, yeah, it was a balloon. <laughs> like a clown, like hot, like a balloon or whatever, yeah, flies that. like toward the dash, and I thought it was really funny. And she's like, "No, your facial expression was the best thing about that." We're really video. into slow mo videos. <laughs> yeah, we gotta keep yeah. ourselves entertained, you know. Yeah, it's a long. So. <laughs> is that a thing so like slow-mo videos have you ever tried to incorporate that in your music videos themselves or anything or is that just something it's you mostly just slow-mo videos of allegra doing stupid things <laughs> <laughs> or me making her do stupid things that's yes. awesome yeah Usually. maybe we'll just have a video of allegra yeah, yeah doing stupid things. just all slow motion <laughs> videos of allegra's face that's a good idea just the whole video uh, just her just being you know there is a calendar like of pictures of her face that a friend of ours made Really? Yeah. <laughs> She's like, a good sport. Aw. We well, love you, Allegra. It's, uh, it's, the calendar's called Anko Wakes Up, and it's just pictures of me right when I wake <laughs> as up. Soon it, like, as soon as she wakes up, her hair's like this, you know, like all of ours are. Yeah, yeah. that's so hilarious. I just take a picture of her really close. <laughs> How did they 2017 pair? 2017 is going to be fun. How do they pair that with months? So, like, are you sleepier in the winter months, or is it like, you know, in July you wake up like, <laughs> <laughs> like a spring <laughs> chicken? Yeah. I don't know. I actually have yet to see it because yeah. it just came in the mail. And I can't I'm really excited. Oh, yeah. my God. <laughs> That's cool. You haven't even seen it yet. Yeah. Maybe you should, like, you know, replicate it. Sell it as merch or something, you know? Honestly, it would sell, get, like, hotcakes. Yeah, yeah, it would. I'd buy that. <laughs> It'd be like, maybe I'll buy the record or this count. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I prefer the pictures to the music. People, yeah. d people do that, you know? They, like, <laughs> yeah, because it's a novelty item. So, like, yeah, I would buy one. Um, <laughs> All right. Well, this is good to know. One. This is yeah, really good to of know. of course. So, cool. yeah, you definitely, I mean, you're touring right now, and you've um, done a few tours in the past, so you got to, you know, like, obviously you're learning how to, you know, pass the time and stuff. Um, but, like, so you've toured across the U.S. and Australia, I know, which is so awesome. Yeah. Are there any places you haven't hit yet that you're really excited, that you would just, like, dream to tour in or? Like Europe. Play? Yeah, we'd yeah. love to go to Europe, and hopefully it will next year. That'd be wonderful. Cool. I'd love to go to Berlin, personally. It seems like a very cool place. Yeah. It's one of my hot, you know. It's a good my number one. Good yeah. music scene there, definitely. Yeah. They have the Ramones Museum in Berlin. Which That's right. I really want to go to that. They yeah. even have shows there. It seems awesome. That would be cool. Would love to play there. Throwing that out there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey Berlin, <laughs> give us the a universe. Call. Totally. <laughs> call me. You'll make it out there. You just gotta speak it into existence. But <laughs> yeah. just like Europe in general is yeah. probably yeah, cool. I think so. Back to Australia. Too. I'm back to Australia. It was well, wonderful. What was your favorite thing about playing in Australia? Our friends we made. Yeah. It was great. Aw. That's really cool. Yeah. It was fun. <laughs> it was really fun. Australia is full of very good looking and polite and fun people. So, I mean, what's not to like? Yeah. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. Aw. And kangaroos. And kangaroos. We saw, like, hundreds of them. Did you? Yeah. Ooh, that's cool. It was very, it was like a dream come true. Did you have to, like, seek them out, or are they just kind just of like very deer common? Over there. They're just yeah. on the side of the road. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. It yeah. was pretty awesome. That's awesome. That's yeah. a really good experience. That's go cool. back. Yeah. You should oh, we'll be, back. oh, we'll be back. <laughs> well, now that we've spoken all this awesome stuff into existence, we've uh, got one more track. We'd love to hear another song whenever you yeah. guys are ready.
is Audio Tree Live, and we'd love to thank the ladies of Kaitana for being here with us today. Thank, thank you, so you so much, you guys. Thank thank thanks you. for having thanks, us. Thanks for having us. No it was problem. Awesome. Good luck tonight at the Double Door. Again, thanks. if you're just tuning in, they play tonight with the Bouncing Souls at 7 p.m. It's an early show, so definitely get out there. Then they're headed to Detroit tomorrow, so good luck on your tour. Thanks so much. Thank you. Thanks to all the viewers for tuning in today, and thank you to our crew for working their magic as always. Until next time.